because it's my map choice. Because I feel like both teams have their chances on both maps. We are gonna jump straight into the pistol. Sonic gonna open things up. Oscar will go down. B stick will pull one back though. The bomb has been these USPs. So time is taking on. There's no smoke for the bomb. So sinners they need to try and take a fight. B stick will find one. Fine will trade one back. Sonic will get one. Trades fighting left, right, and center. Shock and Neo Fry are the only two players left alive. The bomb is taking on. As JT peeks out, he finds one, gets the defuser off the bomb. Neo Fry goes down. Extra salt win the round. We are going to see Extra Salt make their way out of T-Con. There are smokes over towards E-Box. Neo Frag is lurking around. Only will find the market. Looks for a second, but Fang will trade it out. Beast of the backside makes his presence known and takes JT's head off. So we're into a tree versus tree. Oscar is now rotated over towards Old Bomb Sonic just sitting in the smokes. Echo is the other side of it. Now, who is going to see who first? That is the question. The Sonic... He isn't actually going to clear it. Seiko might go for a peek out. We'll take down OC, but Sonic ready. A trading bomb will go down. And Sonic, he makes it into a 1v1. Sonic first. God, actually, Oscar's going to stick the bomb here. So Sonic, he might spot him out behind the smoke. And he's played that absolutely superbly. Oscar had no idea he was there. Picked it. And already we're seeing really good signs from the NA side but Zedko he's able to find the entry things go out of control but Zedko he's still alone he hasn't go for a rotation and this might be dangerous and OC is gonna take him down and Sinners this is a really strange one because Zedko okay he realized that but look at Van go over towards the A bomb side and that's gonna leave Beastic and Oscar all alone this rotation was so late for Sinners and this is what will cause them Oscar though looking caught on his hip the player from lower round, there's the flash. Oh, Oscar fully flashed here. Tries to go for the no scope. Tries to drop down, but JT is going to take him down. An extra man to pick up a few kills and actually put Sinners in a good position. But Fang, he will take down Neofrag. The fast play out all off and taking control of Sandwich. Oscar will put one back and now b -Stick makes it a little bit doable. But Market coming up Ivy will take down Shock off him. So, and it is going to be a retake needed from Sinner's beast is gonna peek out, catches out Marquez with a nade in his hand. Now, the smoke. You slow down just to make Sinner's reposition themselves and allow you to get the plan. Now they will go for it, but the question is holding for it though. And at this point, extra so they're just trying to buy as much time as possible. But Beastic is gonna strike OC down, and that's gonna leave JT in the one versus three. And he gets them off the ball. Now he's gonna peek into it, but Oscar is ready. And Sinners, they're gonna win their first round here. Oh, if they have the time. I'm not sure if they do. Oh, this is gonna be so close, but just barely Zedko. In there, so I'm very surprised. He was kind of shocked to see him out. But look at Market, how aggressive he's getting. He's already up towards hell. The deep smoke towards Ivy, smoke towards Sandwich. Neil Fry with a double spray down. It is gonna be traded back as Oscar now will give the man advantage to see Shock make his way and push. Ivy, so the flank is coming in, but Zedko, he doesn't need it. He will take down OC. JT now in a one versus three situation. Gets oh. this kill, is in a very good position, a very fast rotate. Oh, but JT manages to take cover, and Oscar, he's gonna miss the shot. That's gonna cost him, and now JT, he knows, but oh, Shock is gonna take him down. JT, it's not gonna be the maximum loss bonus, so not perfect. Our money stayed. On the other hand, they managed to kill four Sinners members, which will make the buy. Next assault, they have gone for the full investment here. Oh. As we see now, Sonic, he will, Ooh. or excuse me, he will just be and then go with a triple. JT will find one as he looks to pick up his 19th kill of the game so far. He's last alive in a one versus four. No flank coming in just yet. Doesn't have to worry about that. Trying to isolate a fight, but Neofrag will take him down. I think they're going to be happy with it because Sinners are a team that wins more of their rounds on the CT side. And Sonic is going to open things up now. Again, and JT is going to go for the follow up. Shock out of the server as well, out of the equation. The two orbs, though, are still in play. And Oscar is going to make quite the use of his one. Neofrag adding on to that, down to the three versus three. But OC is there to shut down Oscar now. Neofrag needs to stay alive for as long as possible. but. He's already out of the round, and that's going to leave Zedko in the one versus three. But at what point does he just tell himself, okay, I might as well just go and save. He's going to go for it, but OC will hit the shot. He will take him down. It's another round on the board for extra salt. And, well, they make it.
stick if he goes down they're probably already thinking about a save mark it he will get shot in the back nice timing though fang will take down b stick oscar's rotated over he will take down jt and now they will just go for it doesn't matter that they don't have it it's on it and fang two lovely shots as oscar he doesn't matter that he's holding these angles he is just being ripped off them by extra salt right now oc he needs to try and get the bomb down there's only seven seconds left two players in con as we see Neo Frag and Zedko. Neo Frag up on top. Zedko actually helping out his teammate there. We're into a 2v2. Neo Frag is extremely low. OC misses the shot, gets stinked up. Sonic from heaven now will take down the low HP player. And Zedko will fall as well. Sonic with the triple kill. JT had already dropped that smoke. And now JT he is going to be smoked off. Fang, oh, he goes down pop, but Oscar reacts. He takes him down. Sonic there from mid sight. He is going to get goosed up, but now he's in a little bit of trouble as OC has fallen. Sonic goes down as well. Marky and JT, they have to try and rescue this round, but there's no chance. Sinners, they have a clean T pistol, exactly what they need, and they take their fifth round. I remember, for example, Overpass with the double AWP. Well, extra salt, they were quite dangerous there. Marky's gonna take out Beastic, Beastic with the entry nonetheless, one for one for now, just working out perfectly for the teams, but there it goes OC. He's got two, make it three, looking for a fort maybe, but Sonic will in the first, or in the second half rather, you know, and they make it look quite routine, oh Marky, oh that's a little bit too aggressive for my AV pretty much, uh, it's only Sonic just faking out a little bit of presence, but he's still playing from the side, the trouble dropping pop. JT just around being lost. He's all alone, and oh, the timing is absolutely awful. OC, he doesn't know how unfortunate he is. Actually manages to find himself one, but that kill in main was what it mattered. And Sonic, he's gonna miss this shot. This should be the safe as well from Extra Salt. I mean, if they want to, they might go for it. Of course, if Sonic finds an opening here, promote bomb or reinvestment, but it's gonna be really tough. And I really hope that we see them just go back and save because Fank is gonna fall and now Sonic is gonna realize we towards the A-bomb side from Sinners and I actually love that like the commitment that Sinners had to clear out Popdoc and get all the kills there think about now Sonic is gonna deploy smoke and start rotating but it might be a bit too late Fank he's gonna have to go huge with the CC47 and he's gonna find two goes down though and Neofraki B stick are gonna go with two but Sonic on the AWP is rotated already and he's gonna find a second now B stick led to the clutch one versus three. Beastic needs to find every single one of them. He's gonna have a clear opening going to JT. Sonic is gonna miss the first shot, but oh, I don't think he's ready for Marky, and that's gonna be the rounds. Extra salt. They managed to win one that they shouldn't have been allowed to do, and that's all on the back of this phenomenal double kill with the CZ. That's it. That's the power that that CZ holds when wise we're gonna be heading towards vertigo and already mark it with the initial kill b stick and oh. he's found a double this aggression we've seen it not work out towards pop oscar is gonna catch him. he's in a really good position he can continue to push from showers needs to be careful though zedko is a close man if mark it goes down if he's caught looking the wrong way well that's a man advantage gone uh fang will manage to pull him to the site and he is gonna deep scope but he needs to plant the bomb down now as fang is going to push up onto the side tags down oscar will take him down it's all left on zedko in a 1v3 he is in the lane way there behind this smoke might actually just sit in sonic is holding for it but jt with the late rotate from con will take him down the retake comes in from extra salt it is good enough and they either go for main ivy aggression even b aggression it's just extra salt they don't allow themselves to he left out of the round without gonna see smokes go over towards a smoke towards con and then back green mark is going to be flashed from sandwich jt will take down shot goes he takes down neo frags echo and oscar are all that remain they're gonna have to pull off a very nice clutch but oscar walks right into fang you know very capable of this of playing this map you know we've seen a lot of it and look at that huge nade there on the shock already so extra salt they are playing for the retake here as fang he will take down Zedko. Maybe they're not expecting the double flank here as Oscar is going to make his way out middle. He could find a load of free kills on the back, but Extra Salt, they're already out. Committing to the retake. Oscar, he's missed his chance. And also, he will take him down. Sonic drops shot. The bomb has been tapped. And now, the bomb is going to be stuck. Last alive is going to be Neofrag. And I mean, Extra Salt, 
That retake was perfect. Yeah, that was a late ramp take and oh, extra so Fang is he gonna be ready. He is. There's the first go for the second. New frack is there with the refrack and Zedko is gonna take down JT. Now sinners, they find themselves in the man advantage. They do find themselves in the man advantage, but well, extra salt definitely capable of pulling that man advantage back right, towards the A site. Amarki is gonna be smoked there. So sinners actually taking a deep control of the A site. Something that we don't one flash. And he needs to use this one. He's gonna try to peek into it. And Shock is gonna miss the shot. Mark is gonna find the kill. Now this becomes really interesting. But Neofrag with one and two. And that's gonna be Mark with the refrag. Down to the 1v1. But he doesn't have it. If you skid. And he's just gonna fall back and give this one up. Sinners, they managed to make the force buy work. And well, nonetheless, that was a really interesting one. Marky somehow manages to. Map pool. CT side is usually the side that team start on. Summit now is going to be able to find one, but Echo, he's just ran up onto the B bomb site. He's taken down two with that MAC 10. JT Fang and OC, they're already thinking about a save here because Sinners, they're all over that B bomb site. They are going to make it four. And, you know, it is a good start. Actually, what we are going to expect. And, Already it is very early doors, but it's showing the signs of possibly a tree mapper. Yeah, chill, chill, chill. Boom, you play against Kate. Or boom, you play against Copenhagen Flames. And this is this is really, really you want to win, you don't want to uh, throw this one away, but you want to get it done too. Well. So they're going to be trying their best to get it as Fang. He will find the first. Oscar will be traded, but look at that. The aggression with those M4s making it work. A little bit of a flash, a little bit of a pop towards the A ramp, and it will work out. Oscar pulls one back at least. And Shock now out middle will get dinked up by Market. Lots of damage being done to the T side, even with the pistols. It doesn't have to be only with the rifles. OC Ooh. will spam through the smoke, takes down the op of all. 9 HP left. He shouldn't have any chances whatsoever. And the moment that he makes contact with Sonic, there's going to be a peak, but there's not going to be money on all Marky, Sonic, and OC. Of course, JT and Fang he won't be able to have that much, but OC is going to go for the early peak with the OP, taking out Neofrag. That's going to deny any round presence from the T's. And we're back to the 5v4. Yes, the opening pick. JT needs some help from his head player. Mark will be able to find one, make it two as he takes down shot over Molly towards back of quad. So now he's waiting for a flash cycle. Goes for the peak. Able to find one spot out a second, but OC will take him down with that AWP. It's all left on Oscar. We've seen some insane highlight plays from this man. We're going to need one out of the top drawer from him right now. He is scoped in, making his way forward. We'll find Market, and now he has a chance. 15 seconds, he needs he needs to press W. He needs to go for the plant, and back. he's going to deny that. Actually, Oscar manages to get himself the bomb plant, so fair enough. In a one versus three, but Fang isn't gonna allow him to do anything more than that. And they're thinking about the double up. Yeah, you, you. and you know it's just such a uh, it's such a strength really to have players in your team to bring out the double up middle just in case. But sinners, they are committing and look at this extra shot they're gonna put towards the ramp. Oh. It is not ready. JT and Market, they find two, but Neofrag finds a double. Oscar takes down Fang and Sonic shot through the smoke. And what can he really do? He's locked out of this bomb site. Has to maybe try and find a pick. Nice Ooh. shot. And the pick is insane. But the bomb plant is going down. B stick over the top of the smoke will kill him. It was a nice win percentage on the CT side. So they're going to need to get at least six or seven rounds here. But that's a perfect start from Oscar. OC will go down. B stick has in the corner. Market can't pull the man advantage back as now they have a two-man deficit and JT look he's gonna get aggressive again Oscar will take him down and Sinners they're in complete control of this 10th round as they look to make it seven they do Sonic's a prompt position might be the difference maker good for one but are they had a pretty good idea on where Sonic is but he's moved all the way towards window and he's gonna find Shock as well. Now the two versus three, and now this is doable. Sonic still like towards the back of the side. He's gonna peek again, and oh, if it wasn't for that flash from Oscar, but well, after it, it just works out perfectly, and that's gonna leave Fank in the way. So yeah. it it might have been better that way because now he saves the rifle because he wanna would have left Sonic in a difficult situation on B anyway. In a one good decision there, an extra soul there will have to play another half by with the pistols Zetko is gonna take down the first there it goes the push with the deagles marky actually good for one jt not quite able to connect just yet 
and again it's going to be the man advantage for sinners something they've been really good at finding in pretty much every single round shock should have this one in the back also going down and now unless jt goes absolutely huge with the deagle this should be a sinners round it should be but you never know as we see JT in a dangerous position, finds the first drops the bomb, and the frag is going to be flashed, and JT can't take advantage. Now he's missed his opportunity. Frag is rolled in. Okay. JT okay. takes down Neo Frag as we are going to see Shock come in with a flank here. Our extra salt going to be aware. I think Fang is fairly clued into it, and he's going to tuck in the corner with that M4. He is full HP. Shock is only on 37, and Shock will go down. Extra salt. This. No, Oscar, this is. This is a pretty interesting one, and Sinners, they're on reset potential as well, so they need to be careful. And Mark is gonna take down Shock Dart, that's one up down. Tacting up ramp, OC is just holding towards yellow if they peek out. Beastick looking for but the Deagle swapping the offer, finds one, and Fang will go down. Neofrag's found a triple kill as the A site will fall. Sonic and Marky now are gonna have to make their way and rotate, but Zeko, he has the bomb here. There's absolutely no way that Sonic expects this, and Zeko will take him down now. Sinners. They are going to make their way towards that A site. The triple entry from Neofrag there is absolutely superb. Just doesn't work out. And I mean, that's the risk that you run playing that angle. You can be spotted towards ramp. Nobody was holding for Beastick. And, you know, Beastick came up. It just wasn't meant to be. Like Sinners, they managed to counter that perfectly. Only one kill from Extra Salt on the defense. And that's just not enough. Like, if you get to... As OC is just making sure that... His teammate can't be walked up on. The swing comes in. OC finds one. He's eagle to help out. The M4 cannot get any kill. In favor of the CTs, but afterwards, it's just three kills. Three unanswered kills for the center side. And this has happened for for quite a while now. I, I don't think they get two or three kills and they just uh, can't convert the round in the end. So let's see. Now they need to win this one. And Neil, once again, this man is an absolute beast. The double entry. Fank is there with a double on his dome. He's gonna have a third, and he's not gonna find it, unfortunately, for them. Beastick oh. taking him down. Marky, though, is gonna fight back. The B site. Extra saw thought it was towards A. Zeko is in such a good position. Sonic will find one, but the trade frag will come in and mark it. He is so low. He's 23 HP. Zeko having the clear advantage in this one. Picks up the bomb. And now goes looking for the player towards CT. He's going to drop a molly. And he is going to go for the plant market. It will throw a nade onto default. It will do a good chunk of damage. So it makes it a little bit more favorable for him. But it's still a difficult one because he has to find him. He does have a kit in the hand. No smoke, only a flash. He is going to make his way forward. Throws the flash, goes for a peek and actually gets the kill. That is... A good round from Market. Fair play to him. He gets a 2k in the end. Gets the defuse off. Extra salt. They are going to make a 5 on. And well, let's see what they go for. It is going to be just a straight up rush towards the A bomb side. And Oscar, he's all alone there. No rotations available. And he's going to go down. The bomb plant will be coming in shortly. And sinners, they need to go for the 4 versus 5 retake. Defuse kit is available in the hands of Zedko. But Beastie gets tagged down. Gets taken down as well by JT. And now the three versus five. Neofrag, though, and Zetko, they're oh. going absolutely huge shock as well with one. And oh, how have the tables turned? There's going to be the smoke on the bomb. There's the tab. There's the peak. But every single kill just goes in favor of Sinners. And now JT, he's going to have to clutch this one in the one versus three. Finds himself the first, but not quite the second and the third. Late. And it's doing a good job of keeping Extra Salt at bay for the time being. But here they come. Zeko peeks out. Finds one. Finds two. Looking for a third. Needs to just try and stay alive. And he will go dead. Shock able to find one himself. JT's found a double. But Sinners, they've already rotated over. They're already here. Sonic and JT. They're around half HP. The two of them up on top of double. JT trying to find something with that AK. As Sonic will switch over now to one himself. They need to try and get this bomb again. Sonic fights one. And now it's into a one versus one. Oscar and JT. And now JT goes looking away at a pivotal what? moment. And I mean, you know, Sinners, they are on a 10 win streak. So it is to be kind of expected here. But Mark will find a double here towards mid. And now, you know, we've seen the double entry time and time again from Sinners. Now holding and freezing. Now peeks out 
towards elevator oscar is going to double back spots him out and he will take him down now extra salt they have to commit to b the flash will come in sonic needs to find the entry he will do so neil frag is going to beat off a flash himself but jt will take him down oscar in a 1v2 has the awp in hand scopes in the bomb is going down sonic is lurking around that smoke though and that should be a free kill indeed it is on his zone they wanted to go for the double up it's just going to be the, the double zoom i believe we can say and oscar he's going to make it work from the get go. Take it down OC, and that's gonna bring it into a five versus four. But Fanky's already made his way up short. I don't think they're ready. And Fanky's gonna find the double. That's huge. Now Oscar, he's all alone with the AWP towards backside. He's gonna spot it, but he's gonna miss the shot. Fank looking for a third shot there to cover him up. Shock with a second. Now, are they gonna go for the boost? Yes, they are. And oh, Sinners, they might not be ready for it. This is such a cool play. And Mark is gonna find one center there to fight back. JT. Is gonna connect and that's gonna leave him in the one versus two now he should realize that is oscar he was towards ct so now he starts considering that but still oscar he's made his way up towards connector and he's gonna peek into it and he's gonna do you see you know the t's be in too often but it works out for one kill not ready for the second jt racket will find a double for mid shock is there though to find two himself and well sonic and fine they make their way up towards b the mid aggression there will work out senko will take down sonic and fine there for the one b three the only saving grace is that sinners are low hp but he can't get it done sinners they're gonna make it 15 it is 15 to 7 that was the force fight from extra salt it doesn't work out you know they had to make it work in that round their money isn't going to be too good yes they can bring out a few the ramp control again later on the round and sinners they're gonna give it up to them zedko is gonna take down sonic in the meantime they will they will need some luck for sure and look at this aggressive position from Oscar here. He's already ready. First player will come in. He will find a second as well. OC finds a double. Beastnik not able to trade as he does go down. Neofrag will find JT. It's all left on OC. He peeks with a nade out. Neofrag either here, but well, let's see. They might have had something in their minds. As sinners, they're going to start making their way up towards that A bomb side. But Marky, the man from the fist around with Sonic, they're going to continue and it's going to be a clean sweep. I believe it is so sinners be interesting to see what they go with here oc will get the first kill as that co will fall and now teammates play they need to make some noise in order to create space for him and they're gonna attempt a vent drop and actually beastic is gonna find fang now this opens up the round a bit shock tag down not frag though and jt he's waiting for the rotation the bump will go down on the left which was the goal for sinners but the kills are going both ways and actually shock is going to be left in the one versus one market and find the kill drops the usp doesn't have it if you get he needs to push through it and shock is gonna find it gets the double tag fourth here as we are going to see a minute and 40 seconds left on the clock and there is very little util left on the CT side. Fang will find an opening. Neofrag will pull that man and is right back. Marque on the top. Oh, will get one and looks for a second now. Spots out Oscar towards the door. Peeks into Neofrag, but Neofrag is ready. He will take it down into a 2v3. Marque spamming through the smoke. Won't be able to get the kill as Neofrag and Oscar. They're going to drop and make their way down towards the B site. And well... This lurk here in towards main could cause extra salt a few problems as OC he is going to AK. Well, I I reckon we're gonna see another just hop by with the Deagles playing around the hero rifles, but I can find as he will get underneath the silo. But Beastick, he's already made his way past him. Zeko will find the opening onto JT. And now Sinners are gonna make their way here. So Sinners, they are gonna have the B box right now. Well, Sonic. He's not aware that Beastick has gotten down secret and he's fallen as well. So we might even see another save coming out here from Extra Salt. I think it's going to be the save. And a sad, a really sad thing to look at is that OC is actually 9 and 3 and they've won only one round. Now make that 10 and 3. But actually, Mark is going to find a kill. And now this makes it a bit doable. They need to start investing because around when does look really far-fetched right now it's sinners absolutely a nice cross tour secret this has these have been the two things that have been working really well for them and they're gonna attempt the van drop this time mark is there to deny that now sinners this is the first time that they find themselves in a man disadvantage oh yeah you're gonna go for it right no 
Oh. Nah, not taking any chances, Ted. They can't. They can't. They're six one down. Maybe if they're a few rounds up, but definitely not six one. There's no chance he's going for a knife there. Oscar will find Sinner's first kill of the round. OC with that AWP. Haven't seen too much of him, but now we are gonna see OC with the double. Neofrag could be caused a little bit of a problem. Peeks out. Is he going to be ready? Fang will take him down. Gets dinked up, but OC catches him on the cross. And it's a 3k for him. He's going to be a molly come over. He's going to actually drop back onto the side. He's going to be full white. And he should go down here. The flashes are so, so good. And sinners are going to take the A site. Nobody getting a kill there for extra salt, which is going to be a huge problem. Now, you know. Oh, once it falls, he just doesn't have a chance. He doesn't see a single member in this one, and he needs to save. That's exactly what Sinners should be doing, because you... there's the flash, there's the info, and now also, he's not even gonna attempt that. JT, good for one, but there's the refrag, and now the upper, it, it's just no chance for him to have any impact. He's actually gonna land the attack through the wall. Not so far from getting the second, but there has been. A certain B-Stick who's already crossed towards Garrett. He's gonna take OC down. And now down to the 3 versus 3. The B-Bomb side hasn't made a noise yet. He's gonna go for the rotate. But Marky, he's under heaven. He's ready for it. And he's gonna take both, with, both of them down with himself. Oscar finally finding Sonic. But there's not gonna be enough time. Marky, what a play that was. And Oscar, he's gonna be left in the 1v2. Good for one, but there's just not enough time. And Fang, he just needs to stay alive. Really what cost them the round there, they were forced to rush and make a decision. And now they're going to go back for this AXQ. This time Marky's going to throw some personal in the hole. We'll find one, he will get taken down. Neofrag drops Sonic though, as Sinners they will make their way out onto the site. Fang spot out in the vent, so they know exactly where one player is coming from. There's two from heaven, Oscar points, JT, Fang up the vent, will find Zenko, finds the second onto Neofrag. It's OC will fall, and it's Fang, he's already fine too, needs to double up once again, but he won't be able to, Oscar takes him. Just not able to find these kills, like, it's not always all about kills, but at one point you need to start doing something, and look at that, Oscar just toying with the door, getting the entry, and Sonic, he's been unable to do anything on that A-bomb side, like, every single time Sinners have attacked this, it's been Sonic just going down, and Fang, he's trying to be a bit more creative, trying to be aggressive to equal things up. They're pushing towards the ramp as well, but look at that Oscar, he's holding for it. Sinners, they're just playing it really, really well right now, really disciplined CS. They might not be aware that JT has pushed that close, and I don't think that Oscar is. He was going to check for it, so JT will find himself now. Oh, did he spot him? I don't think BC has spotted him. Now he will. Goes for it, and actually Mark is going to win the fight. So now the two versus three, but Shock... With the immediate refrag, the double peak, and that's gonna leave JT all alone. Sinners, they're looking forward to making it double digits and potentially even 11 on the back of resetting the economy of this. Actually, show what you've been doing on frags. You can be creative, you can dictate the pace, and so on, so on. But still, you don't wanna be going into this second half being down 12 3 or 11 4, considering you're going onto your weaker one. Now, I saw they're gonna have the openings and Mark is actually gonna push through the smoke getting a quick double so this is gonna be the round that we we wanted the first buy around and then it's like oh it's just two rounds difference but I think it's a bit too much and I think that extra salt they might not be able to work out their way from here as we see oh, that is coming exactly as you said it uh, JT now left in a one versus four because Oscar has found three JT will take him down, has that P250 in hand, but Shock with the flank as he... It's GG's and Shock, he's pushed all the way from ramp into it. In fact, he has no idea Shock is going to pick up the AK and fall back as well. No refract potential whatsoever. Next result, they have lobby control. They have one player down to her secret, but that's all about it. And Oscar, he's already down here. He's waiting for JT. And unless JT mollies him off, which he will, he would have went down, but Oscar, he doesn't care. He just walks into the flames and that's going to be a 5v3. Neofrag takes down Sonic Shock. He's going to drop a volley. He's going to force the bomb right into his crosshair. Well, OC, he's going to fall. Mark it left now in a one versus five. He will find one. Has to try and recover that bomb. Has nine HP. Makes his way on forward. Oscar's actually going for the wall bang underneath him from... They've done more than enough. Oscar deploys the molly, falls back with the AWP. He has the setup with Shock, so if they go towards them, it's just going to be the bloodbath. 
by the looks of it, is just going to be the A side wrap. Beastie playing from top of HUD. There's Neofrag taking him down. Now Beastie can play. There's the flash. Beastie will peek into it. Frag is actually going to take him down, but Neo good for one more. Down to the three versus two. Zedko spotted over towards heaven. He needs to be careful. He's going to even get smoked off. Bomb is going to go down into the 2v3. The flank from Oscar coming in from Hut. He's going to make his way on forward. AWP in hand takes down Market. It's OC in a 1v3. He is going to go down. Zedko is going to confirm it. That is Sinners qualifying for the playoffs in such convincing fashion. In some style, might I add, too. 16-4 on the